So much like you lock your doors and windows at night at your house, you have to make sure that you think about the security of your smart home as well. And it starts simply with the right passwords. In essence, you wanna pick strong passwords and that's not one, two, three, four, five. You'll wanna make sure that you have a mix of things like numbers, symbols, and upper and lower case letters. And most importantly, don't use the same password for every device. If a hacker can get into one of them with that password, they then have the keys to everything on the network. So, you know, a lot of people think that the router is kind of the main gateway or wall to your smart home, and in many cases it is, but it's also important that you protect all the other devices. You've got uh, smart video doorbells, smart lights, smart robot vacuums. They all have to have the right security built into them as well. And so to do that, you have to make sure that you always update the security software or the firmware and also register the product as well. By registering, you're going to be alerted if there's any security patches that come on down the road. And if you have the opportunity with your device, use two-factor authentication as well. This basically allows you to log into the device and then you'll get a notification on another specified device that you choose, maybe your smartphone, to make sure that you're the right person trying to get into it. That way it makes it that much more difficult to get in. I think it's important to know that hackers aren't just going after your single house. They're trying to find the path of least resistance. They're using things called bots, little software programs that are scouring the internet to find open ports or open devices that make it that easy to get in. So again, just by doing the basic things like choosing the right passwords, making sure that your security software is up to date, it's gonna make it that much more difficult to get in. Also, it's really important to rename your devices as well. So if uh, you got a Netgear router, for example, that typically will be the default name for it when it pops up on the internet. What you'll wanna do is rename it to something else. Again, that'll make it much harder for the bots to identify what it is. So it's pretty simple. Make sure you have strong passwords and different ones for all your different devices. Make sure you rename your devices from their default name. And if you can use things like two-factor authentication, it's gonna make it that much more difficult for someone to get in that you don't want to be there. A secure smart home is a safe smart home.